So much 10 minutes until polls close here in Connecticut. I want to bring back in uh, John Dankosky and get your reaction to the discussion that we just heard before between Speaker Arasimowitz and State Senator Len Fasano. Fasano discussing the possibility of taking over for J.R. Romano. Is this the change that Republicans might need in the state? Well, and I think you you both sort of touched on this. It was nice to have a civil conversation, right, between two guys who have worked together for a long time. One's a Republican, one's a Democrat. That's something that Len Fasano seems to get pretty well. And if you look at just the numbers, Jen, in Connecticut, he, here's the deal. We've got 700,000 new voters who just registered this time. Now, they're not always going to vote in every single election, but that's more people getting involved in politics. 940,000 of the, the total of 2.3 million registered voters in the state are registered as unaffiliated. Democrats then have a pretty huge advantage over Republicans. Republicans are always gonna be playing catch up in this state because of the raw numbers. But that huge number of unaffiliated voters, they don't want to hear an awful lot of what J.R. Romano and the Republican Party has been giving them in Connecticut over the course of the last several years. Republican uh, talking points from the top from Donald Trump don't play very well in Connecticut. There's an awful lot of Connecticut Republicans I talk to who go further than what Rob Kane was saying, that they just don't like the tweets. They just don't like Donald Trump. They don't like that sort of governing. If a Len Fasano or someone like him took the reins of the Connecticut GOP, there's a there's a big chance for them to make gains over the course of the next year and, and actually run some competitive race at the con races at the congressional level, maybe even at, again at the gubernatorial level. We'll see what happens. But and I, and I know that this is not a shoe. And it's just interesting to hear him talking about that, because it might just be what the GOP in the state needs. Rob Kane, I want to bring you in and, and talk about some of these early 